Hey there Bruno Mars fans, your Guitar Sage here and today we are going to learn how to play Grenade. Yes, Grenade by Bruno Mars. And as always, I'm looking at my chart here. It's not on my screen, but it's laying on my keyboard. And this is the charts that I do for my students one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then I share the song with you so the whole world can play Bruno Mars tunes. Yeah. Okay, good. So here we are. We're going to jump into it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the song before we get into it, and then I'm going to play it. And then for those of you that need the bits and pieces, stick around, okay? So uh, to start off, the song's in, in four, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. Okay? And, um, and it's capoed at the sixth fret. You know it, you love it, it's the capo, and it allows you to play all these nice open chords but higher up the neck, so you don't have to play bar chords. Nothing wrong with bar chords. I love them. Play them all day long. But this allows you to do chord noodling and stuff like that, where you can't do those so much with bar chords, okay? You're a little bit more confined. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna jump into it, and, um, and then we'll work out the bits and pieces. Again, I don't know all the lyrics to these tunes, because I learned so many of them that I just don't know them as well as you probably do. So. I may make up lyric. Don't sue me, okay? Or you can get your money back for this free video. Okay, here we go. It's gonna go something like this. Uh, starts off with the verse. Two, three, four. Da Now, we just did that little turnaround part there, and then it's going to do the verse and chorus again. And then after the verse and chorus, which we just did, you know them, you love them, then we're going into the bridge. So it's a totally different, so those parts are the same, verse and chorus are the same, obviously. And then we're going to this bridge part, um, which I don't know the lyrics to, but here it goes. It's going to go, I'm going to act like I'm coming out of the, the chorus. Actually, let's do the chorus, huh? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Um, two, three, four. La -da -da -da. to the turnaround again. So the turnaround is like the same as the turnaround before. It's A minor E. Uh, actually, the turnaround is different on this one. It goes... And then back into the chorus again. So it does a chorus, another chorus, and then the end is the same as the intro section, which is A minor, E minor bit. Okay? So, now let's talk about the chords. Um, by the way, Obviously, I just gave a condensed version of this. If you actually want to see this, what I'm working with, go to yourguitarsage.com, get the ebook, and then I will send you this, or you will be privy to this chart. It makes things so much easier. Um, just do it. And if you haven't already, um, 
you know, uh, the, these techniques and stuff that I'm using here, that ebook's going to cover that too. So if you haven't already, get the ebook. It'll help a ton, especially if you're using a lot of my videos here, um, because it's so much easier. I want to make things easier, kids, adults, all. Okay, so chords. Let's talk about them. A minor. You know it, right? Sure you do. If you don't, it's on page something or another of the ebook. Um, showing you all these basic open chords. So A minor, E minor. So that's basically the beginning. A minor. So that's the verse, right? F major, I know. You don't like the F chord, I know. You write me that enough. Okay, it's the F, they call it the F chord for a reason, all right? It's tough. But you can get it with some practice. And um, th there's some easy F chords like this one. You can play that, just don't strum all the strings, you'll sound like poop. Um, so there's that F chord, there's this F chord fuller and even fuller yet you bar these one strings one and two and if you really want to get fancy pants the whole enchilada uh, bar chord okay so um, yeah so F and then E so you notice during the verse two I went uh, A minor da, 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 da. why will that open so it goes from E minor to E major very nice little touch. You won't see that in the, a lot of the charts I've found online. I don't know why. There's an E major there. It's for sure. Okay, so what does the chorus do? I'm going to tell you. The chorus is, so where we've been doing like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. We've been doing whole measures of each chord, and in some cases two measures. Uh, during the chorus, for the most part, we have split bars. So split bar again is when we have two chords per measure. So it's going to go, it's going to go like this. So act like we're coming out of the, the verse. One, two, three, four. Here's the chorus. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That, that's a push. Sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, So it's A minor, F, C, G. A minor, F, C, G. A minor, F, C, G. Okay. What do I mean by a push? A push is when we anticipate a chord or musical notation or something like that. Typically, it's on the and of the beat before you normally would play the chord. So normally, we'd go like one, two, three. Britney Spears. Booty call. I don't respond to those. I think more of myself. Um, okay. Where was I? She really distracts me. Um, oh yeah, so it's not normally we learn like A minor, F, C, G. That would be playing it straight, but in this case the G is pushed. A minor, F, C, So it's like a, basically it's pl played on the and of three instead of, is that right? One, two, three, four, one, two, and. Sorry, it's the and of two instead of the three. You know how it feels. You don't need me to explain it. Okay, so that's the first eight measures of the chorus. Then it goes into this part. Okay, so don't get scared there. I know the chords are moving quite quickly. 
Here's how to practice that. Just practice it slowly. If you want to play fast, and I know you do, then learn to play slowly. There is no guitar player on earth who's learned to play fast by playing sloppily fast. You have to learn to play it slow. Your brain has to know what you're doing before you can play it fast, okay? So the first thing you got to do is teach yourself how to do it slowly. Uh, there's no amount of trying that's going to get you to play it fast if you can't play it slow. That's just 101, right? It's logical. So that's your chorus. And then we said the turnaround after that was A minor. to the second verse. Second verse, same as the first. Then it goes into the chorus. Second chorus, same as the first chorus. Then, after the second chorus, we go into the bridge, which is D minor, D minor, A minor. D minor, for two measures, and then E major. Two measures of E minor. I'm sorry, two measures of E major if I didn't say it. Okay, that's the bridge. Turn around. This turnaround is a little bit different. A turnaround is usually a musical bit that brings you back to a chorus or a verse or something like that. In this case, the, the turnaround is A minor. So there you go. Um, and then the end is the same as the first eight measures of the verse. A minor. That's it, right? Something like that. Um, basically, A minor, A minor, E minor, E minor, A minor, A minor, E minor, E minor. And then that's the end of the song. See how easy that is? You know how to play the song. Go play it now. Okay, right? We need to talk about a little bit of right hand stuff. So here we go. Right hand. Now, if I were strumming this, the way I would do it is this. I would do like a, let's see. I do this little thing where I kind of smack the guitar a little bit to make it sound like a snare drum. So I listen for my snare drum. And if it's, then I go, So it gives it that kind of cool little vibe. And so that was, that's what I would do for the verse. And then the chorus, I'd go, uh, let's see. Let's see now. I probably wouldn't do this slap for the chorus. I'd probably go, uh, I would do that is typically courses open up, right? They get bigger and stuff, and so that would be a much bigger sound than what we were doing before. But you can still do that that little slap of the slap of the guitar uh, face, if you will. Um, you could do that still. And now let's talk about maybe a little bit of finger picking if you want. Um, I do the, kind of the same thing. I always hit that thumb, you know, the bass note on the one. I could do it, uh, you could do it every other measure too. Okay, you get it? Fairly easy, right? Okay, hey, now go play uh, Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars. I got a tutorial for that too. Sure, I do. Go check it out. If you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can get these Scrum True Lesson videos in your little YouTube email box whenever I put them up, which is a lot.
okay? And if you haven't already, go get the ebook. Eat your veggies. Go help a little old lady across the street and take in a stray animal. All right, your guitar sage.